Hi, I'm JMO from Xcase in the UK at www.xcase.co.uk. Take the time to have a look at my website, thank you. On my bench today, I've got what we're calling the Xcase home server. It's based on a 4U rack system that we do called DRM424 but we're aiming it more for the home server type market and perhaps the JBOD market. So much like the RM424 it's got 24 hot swap front caddies Each of the caddies has a two activity lights, one's a continued power light, and the other one flickers when the hard drive is in action. And the design of these caddies from the last version has improved again. And they're really clunking very nicely now. So, 24 of those. Behind the caddies are these six mini SASPAC planes and each of the back planes is powered by a Molex. Now you'll note that there's two Molexes here. You only actually need to use one, the second one's just a redundant one. But for cabling ease, don't worry if you're just going to use the one. Like its big brother, it's got three 120mm fans and two rear 80mm fans. However, unlike its uh, bigger brother, it comes in shorter at 550mm. which obviously gives it more, um, you've got more chance of getting it in a smaller rack or in a smaller space and it's just a smaller unit to, to handle. The way we've reduced it is by taking the, um, the option to have an extended uh, ATX board. So this is just for ITX, micro ATX and standard ATX boards. and it will take a standard a power supply. It's got seven full height expansion slots. And going back to the front, on the handle we've now added two USBs. And your power light, uh, power switch, reset switch and power light are on the left handle. Now this could be used, as said, for a home server. A home cinema type setup where you're storing all your uh, multiple files. Or if you've got a rack mount system already and you just want to add to it, as a second box, as a JBOD box, then it would also be ideal for that. Now, while I've got some time, I'm going to explain a little bit, as there's always a lot of confusion on this, about these mini SAS backplanes. Back in the days, we used to have these type of backplanes, which had four SATA connections onto them. However, technology moved on, and now you've just got one connection per backplane which controls all four drives. Now, if you're using a modern RAID card or HBA card, that card will have the same connections on it. So, what you do is simply have one of these 
which is an 8087 to 8087 cable, multi-lane cable, and it goes into the back plane and into one port on the card. And that port controls all four drives. So obviously if you've got a 24 port uh, system like this, you need a RAID card or other device which has got six of these ports onto them. Or you could use something like this which is a HBA card with four ports and you could use what's known as a reverse breakout cable which has got this mini SAS type connection on one end, 8087 but then reverse breakouts into standard SATA which could then go onto your motherboard so that's known as a reverse breakout cable or if you've got something like this which is the older type of RAID card which has got multiple SATA ports on it what you then need is something called a forward breakout all these cables are on a website and a forward cable is basically the same thing you just have your SATA port go into the card and this one goes into the back plane. The reason it's called forward is because the signal is going forward to the back plane and the reverse breakout cable, although it looks the same, is different because the signal is going backwards to your motherboard. So you could use a number of things. You could use connections on your motherboard, on a HBA card, or a couple of HBA cards, a RAID card, a 24 port RAID card, or you could use what's known as a port expander, like this. Now with a port expander, what happens is your HBA card, which could just be something like a four port or your four port RAID card, would go into here, and that four port card via these six mini SASH ports can control all 24 drives. So that's called a Shembro port expander. That's a 32 port. Again, these are on our website. Now it's obviously cheaper to use a four port rate card into a port expander than it is, for instance, to buy a 24 port RAID card. So it's cost effective. Now, if you're using it as a J board, you may well have a RAID card in your first box. Now, if you have a RAID card that's got an external connection, that can then feed into this port expander. and you can control your second box without any motherboard and processors etc. You could then have a cable going from this one onto another box and just continue the process. All you really need to do is just make sure your RAID card or HBA card does support port expansion, which I think most do nowadays. So, sorry if I've waffled on a bit. Um, so, there we go, the X case home server. Thanks as always for listening.